Welcome back to MDK. Oh god, Doc, are you alright? I feel great. I'm high on caffeine. See, you passed out on the map. <laughs> We're going to Livingston, cat! <laughs> uh. Uh, I'm falling into the, what is apparently Scots Scotland. Didn't realize a lot of places on Earth were just dead brown. Well, there is a reason for this. Apparently, the mine crawlers also, um, like, drain the Earth of its resources. In in uh, in addition to just crushing everything. Did I read that correctly? Said sniper grenades. Yeah, sniper grenades. Pretty awesome. Hell yeah, it is. They do a lot of damage too. What the hell was <laughs> that it. thing? I love loading screen. That was our final boss for this level. And we are in basically the insane asylum level. Do 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 it. Oh no! Alright, you start off with a lot of bullshit. Oh, I fell. <laughs> no, my safety perch where I was taking all the damage. Alright. A little quick difference between this game and the uh, PlayStation 1 version. If you notice, these characters are, or these grunts look a little different. They're wearing white. They're basically wearing straight jackets that they've escaped from, I guess. What doesn't make any sense was that this make well, it makes sense here because this is basically an asylum. But in the PlayStation One version, these enemies appear in the first level, so that kind of bugs me a little bit. Huh? Did the uh, port team know that these were insane asylum jackets, or what? I don't know. I mean, if I didn't tell you that, you probably wouldn't have guessed. Kamikaze, Kamikaze! Turkey! Oh, that might be why, because of the Kamikaze units in uh, level one, they might have- What the hell? Super Psycho. This guy likes to charge at us and leave like a little fiery trail behind him. I think the fire does damage too. There's one lonely guy somewhere. Hi, fella. How are you? I'm gonna headshot you. Oh, I missed. Oops, I'm sorry. I'm shooting your shoulders instead. There we go. Shoulder shot. Alright, go up here. You get access to the upper levels of this part. You gotta find some more sniper grenades. And up there. Oh, super chain gun. Now everything's gonna be real easy. Over there we have another Batman alert droid. It already knows we're here, so just kill it. What's with this Jaws music? I love this song, honestly. <laughs> We got another Bones airstrike. Here come the crazy people. There's a people sniper grenade. <laughs> Here comes the crazy people. They're gonna send you a bomb. I thought you guys were seeing Modern Mater General. Boing. <laughs> Whoa, what happened to that guy? Good question. He just dove into an empty pool. That's his body. Wow. I can't tell they're actually, there's just sound effects or it's just talking with very low quality recordings. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, we saw that last video too. <laughs> yeah, if you sprint down a steep incline, that'll happen. But I think it's just... Just alien language. You're just going... Rah, 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 rah. Here's a seal. A one-eyed seal. It looked like a beluga whale. Why'd they steal a dugong? Now over here, if you're if it's a PlayStation yeah! One version, you could jump you could jump into this cow, which is an Earthworm Jim reference, and then you take it to kind of like a mini game. Now that is sadly absent in this version, and I don't remember what exactly the mini game was or what it gives you, but banana slug Sam. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, I think that if you headshotted that guy on that flying platform, that you could actually take it and ride it up and get that world's most interesting bomb up there. But sadly, I did not manage to do that. So, I cannot use that item once again, even though it was amazing. Huh. Ah! Better put it on your... Uh, Jacob, Jacob, okay. <laughs> is there fall damage in this game? Yes, there is. I think that... I'm not 100% sure, but I think that a fall that high would actually kill you. Which is why it's the loading screen. Welcome to our blender. What? <laughs> this is a dog spawner. It spawns dogs. Ah, dogs. Dogs that sound like raptors? What the f- Yeah, they- I mean, like I said, I got, got these names from Hectic HQ, but these things are just called dogs there. Here we have little babies. Shoot the pods. And we got a tornado. I'll show you what that does later. They're not so much babies anymore. 
don't know much of anything anymore. I'm growing up, Daddy. I oh, help. For your future parents, keep in mind, if you shoot your children, they grow up faster. Of course. No, the Strata Hat no does not endorse baby shooting. Yet. <laughs> That's you think. Dogs. And now the dog spawner is gone. Yeah, I know you mentioned the, uh, the Earthworm Jim sense of humor here. It, it was really prevalent there with bo with the, uh, what the hell. <laughs> you were saying? We're back home, guys. We did it. We win, right? Ooh, a grenade. <laughs> <laughs> I've lost my train of thought. What the fuck is happening here? I'm glad we got a grenade back in heaven. It seems like we're back home. Oh, 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 wait a darn second here. Oh. Uh, Take that forest. We're not home. We don't enjoy shooting your kids, but we do enjoy shooting a forest. <laughs> Too many trees out there. They're going to outnumber us. Now these little things will just keep spawning enemies. And there's already a fuckload of enemies in here, so get rid of those quickly. I try to hit this one with a grenade. I missed. See, we keep our crazy people in these pods. And that makes them feel better. That's why when they come out, their guns that they are born with are just just, just shimmering with love. There we go, I hit that one. They look less like aliens and more like fat gorillas in straitjackets. I threw the tornado, and it basically just destroys everything. The tornado is kind of just like the screen clearing weapon. It doesn't kill. It's not an instant kill necessarily, but it does a lot of damage to everything around it. Is it good to save this for the bosses, or more useful for large groups of enemies like this? Better for large groups of enemies, because most bosses aren't really affected by things like that, especially not the boss at this level. But I just I did throw my little dummy decoy. So, they're going to be occupied with that while I go around killing their spawners. What the fuck is the throwing arc? It's very strange. It's the frisbee. The frisbee grenade. It's very strange, much like everything in this game. Well, I like this room. It's uh, also strange. Ooh. Oh good, we made it to the daycare. That was kind of a neat visual effect, honestly. What was that? It looks like a face. Oh, does it? I didn't even realize that. When you were walking in, kind of. It looks kind of like Dr. Robotnik. I didn't even notice that. I missed that, too. <laughs> I've been playing this game for 15 years and I haven't noticed. He hasn't beaten it yet, either. <laughs> long game, long game. <laughs> it's only got 250 levels. This is going to be a long LP, let me tell you. Yep, I hope you guys are strapped in. We're doing them all tonight. Fuck you, Batman. I do love this music. Isn't this some, like... I don't remember what song this is, but this is like... It does sound a little Pee Wee Herman. The Breakfast Machine. Yeah. Yeah, this is probably one of my favorite tracks in the game. It's so amusing and perfect for the kind of setting we're in. Oh, it's a huge ripoff of the breakfast machine. Is it? it yeah, you can tell. <laughs> I honestly can't. It's just in a different key, really. Another Bones airstrike. Fuck. <laughs> I like the sound of Jacob's voice. He's like, another airstrike. Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I guess we gotta get up here to get it. Breakfast. Breakfast in my mouth. <laughs> Sailors in your mouth. <laughs> breakfast in my mouth, it's a gun. Breakfast, breakfast, breakfast in my eye. Oh my god, that's Snoopy, let's get out of here now. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. So with Bones airstrike, do we keep him forever or uh do we do we just lose him at the end of the level? Your items do not um stay with you at the end of the uh, at the end of the level, other than the I feel top you get in the end of the level minigame. Okay, so I fully expect you to use both at the end of this level. Well, I think you're gonna like how I use one of them. I do use one of them, I don't use both. Ah. But... And it doesn't work inside, and the final boss is inside a room, so... Won't do me much good. 
I actually could have used it here. But it did. Because you're good at this game. Yeah. I'm gonna get this guy. He's very fat. Nope, nothing in that corner. Nope, nothing. Oh, shit. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> That is, that's probably the easiest way to get rid of those guys, because unless unless you headshot them through the little hole, they do have quite a lot of health. So are headshots just insta-gives, or are they massive damage? They're insta-kills, if you manage to get one. A lot of enemies can be headshot. Not all of them, though. Every little grunt can be headshot, but it just, you have to stand so still for it, and you, if you try to headshot everyone, you'll just take so much damage, it's not worth it. Like this. Hmm. Like even this guy up here, this really powerful enemy, he could be headshot. I actually did it in a, um, in a like a test recording, but I couldn't find, I could not for the life of me figure out how to do it again. How's it going? Hello, look at my teeth. Look at your Keith. My my Keith. My name is Keith. Oh God. Oh wait, teeth. <laughs> uh, I'm an idiot. I wish my name was Brett. The people would listen to me. <laughs> Brett's a commander's name. I'm not a commander. They are gorillas. Yeah, they're very monkey-like. Like this guy, he's fucking got his little wings out. Also, if you see up there, you see a hammer. I'm not sure how to access that. I think, once again, you needed to shoot that guy on the hoverboard to get up there somehow, but... Um, that's called a thumper. And it is the worst item in the game. Huh. So it's not worth it at all. This level's proof to you future murderers out there. Pleading pleading insanity does not protect you from the death penalty. <laughs> because Kurt will come. Imagine that in court, like you were found guilty. You're sentenced to death by Kurt. <laughs> <laughs> Just a guy walks in. Hey, how's it going? Boom. <laughs> Just one little bastard who will not die. So you know what? Let's rock. <laughs> oh my god. Wait for it. Wait for it. He's not moving. Eh. Yeah. That's so fucking mean. <laughs> I get a mix of an Earthworm Gym and a Jet Force Gemini feel to this game. Yep. Yep. Because uh, developers of this game actually made Earthworm Gym before this. Hey. And I think it was Thorn in the one of the last episodes that compared it to Jet, uh, Jet Force Gemini. I imagine this has better controls than Jet Force Gemini, though. It looks it. Oh, he said that too. Yeah. Hey, I'm here for all let's plays. Hey. <laughs> he came in late getting the coffee. We apologize. The coffee was really good. Yeah, it was worth it. Thanks, Travis. I didn't even get myself some coffee. What am I doing? What's going on? Good thing I'm protected <laughs> by this force field. Fuck. Um, this force field of teeth. I don't think it's a force field. I think it's just a wall. Of teeth. But I, I'm, I'm clearly hitting him at one point, but it just doesn't register. I like the fact that our friend, uh... Kurt. Finally remember his name. Our friend Kurt can moonwalk pretty well. <laughs> yeah. His walking animations are so strange, because they're all, they're all the same, unless you're, like, doing that side dance there. I love how when he didn't aim, you hit him. I don't aim, baby. Well, I didn't need to snipe, so I just decided, fuck it, just use my chain gun. We're very sure there's about to be a bomb. Everyone remain calm, there's going to be a bomb. Three hours and counting. <laughs> they haven't taken the world's most interesting bomb, we're safe. <laughs> and in here we have a little spinner thing. Let's walk into it. We shoot it, of course. It explodes like everything else in this game. And the door is open. And of course there's a trail of candy. Oh, and a kamikaze guy, fuck. Whoop, 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 whoop. These are some crunchy-like apple candy. Hell yeah. Kurt really likes apples. I actually used to call this game the man who eats apples when I was like five. <laughs> also, check this out. This is actually pretty badass. Nice! 
Yeah, I'm really proud of that. He called this game a man who ate apples, and at that moment you knew you were the most hilarious man alive. <laughs> it wasn't even a joke, I just called it that. Like, I thought that was the name of the game when I was four. <laughs> yeah, because M when you read MDK, that's what it spells. Well, when you're four. Diggity <laughs> <laughs> dance, diggity dance. We'll kill it eventually. Oh, I love to shoot my gun and hope to shoot my gun. Oh, hello, friend. That's a very curt sounding name. This guy's having a good time. Kaka, motherfucker. <laughs> Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, turkey. I have over 100 health. I don't need the turkey. He's dressed like a turkey. Except for there's two of them. Oh, no. Oh, no. They're both swimming. They're both having fun. We can't allow that. Without me. <laughs> All right. It's time to rock and roll, huh? What's in here? Oh, hey. Hey, dude. How's it going? Rock and roll with Brian Eno. All right, here's a hoverboard that we can ride. Woohoo! Wavetacular! Oh, man, this is wiggy. Yeah, it's pretty wiggity-whack. Lots of Batman droid things. I'm just waiting for you to hit that sick-ass ramp. <laughs> In the hoverboard. And then kickflip off the thing. By what you mean, fly into it. We are currently like 200 feet in the air. Are you not impressed? No. Do a flip. Fine, God. Fine, just scrape up against the wall. Oh, you did yeah! do it. Yeah! <laughs> Alright, back to what I was doing. <laughs> back to heading to the final boss of this level. Introducing. Once I sneak my way in, there's a, a turkey. No. This is Pike. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I'm Pike. Oh, I know, it's awkward. This is the easiest boss in the game. They're dogs. All I do is shoot the dogs, wait a little bit, and then something's gonna happen. More dogs. Oh, yep. They turned orange. You shoot them. Fuck the dogs. Oh, damn it. All right, it takes takes me another try. It's easy. I, I said it's easy. <laughs> it's easy, damn it. LP curse. Just keep shooting the dogs, shooting the dogs, shoot more dogs, shoot these three, and you win. Wait, what? Yep, that's it. Pike just lays there, and explodes. That poor cleric. So, wait. All you had to do was unscrew his safety measures and then he died. Basically. Like I said, the bosses in this game kind of suck. Huh. D Doc, you kind of passed out. Are you okay? You saved Livingston. I've been here the whole time. I dreamed of you murdering a man. Stop shooting me! <laughs> oh fuck! Oh, oh god! And this is his screams. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> and I am rated six headshots. Six headshots out of eight. Wonderful! I am the perfect murderer. The Irish guy named Kurt. <laughs> Kurt's an American, damn it! <laughs> the, mo the the greatest hero of all space and time, Kurt. The janitor. And his radioactive dog. Um, Max is actually a robot, so... Max? Oh. He was made by that doctor that passed out on the map. <laughs> we could build an actually cool robot, but what if we build a dog robot? No, 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 that's been done. How about an extra set of limbs? God damn it. Yeah. Oh, yes. Max doesn't get his time to shine until MDK2. We'll probably get to that. <laughs> Max? 